Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm bringing you this ice cream skull makeup look. I was inspired by Thomas Albert and Desi Perkins. I'm gonna put their pictures right here somewhere. I'm loving this melting skull ice cream look type of thing. So I was super inspired and kind of meshed everything together. And as you guys know, skulls are my thing. I love doing skulls. So this is what I came up with. I hope you guys like it. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty hard for me to make because I went into it without practicing and I don't know what I was thinking. But this look definitely took me some practice. Hopefully uh, the way I filmed the video helps you guys so that you guys don't have to uh, struggle as much as I did. Uh, this is actually my third time filming this which is extremely frustrating but here it is. So I hope you guys like it. If you guys want to see me transform or you guys want to come along and transform with me please keep on watching. Hey guys here I am with no eyebrows. <laughs> I decided to do my primer and foundation off camera. The primer I use is Tarte's Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer and the foundation is Urban Decay's All Nighters Foundation. I think this is the new one. I'm liking it so far. I decided to do the eyebrows off camera because I have never <laughs> done this before. I looked at one of Alex Faction's video. I think it's the conjuring one that he did um, to see how he did his eyebrows and I attempted to do it so this was my best try. <laughs> Now onto the video, as you guys saw in the beginning, I mixed some colors from the Makeup Forever flash palette. I mixed the white, the hot pink, and I think I threw in a little bit of the peachy tone that they have. I mixed that all in and then I'm just basically going to draw the basic shape of the skull with squiggly lines and drips and little waves and stuff, whatever you want to call it. Um, like I said, this was my third time attempting it, so by this time I already kind of knew my shapes and where I wanted things to go, but if you don't feel comfortable going in with the color and drawing in the shape, I would definitely recommend marking the main areas with a beige liner, and then once you have an idea of where your eye sockets, your mandible, and all of that has to go, then I would go over with the color and make the squiggly lines and stuff like that so you don't have to keep erasing and redoing. But there's nothing wrong with erasing and redoing. As you guys saw me, I did that right at the beginning because I didn't like where my line was going. Now I'm just covering my teeth with my teeth, my <laughs> lips <laughs> with foundation so I can get them ready for the teeth. Um, we're taking the color teal from the Mayron's Paradise paint palette and we're drawing those lines to help us guide where our teeth are going to go. And now I'm leaving that there to draw the rest of my mandible so I can have a little better guidance and see kind of how the overall look is going to go. When making the squiggly lines, remember that this is a melting look so don't be afraid to throw in some big drips and all of that stuff because it's gonna look really cool at the end. And now I'm starting to color in everything. I started with a brush, but then I didn't like it. I don't know why. I wasn't loving it. I think I just saw the streaks a little bit too much. So I took this mini beauty blender and started filling it in. But it's kind of difficult to fill in the tighter drapes and the tighter little crevices. So I definitely went in with a small shader brush or those round um, top brush to get in there more easily. While doing a look, I found that the flat round top brushes, the smaller ones, were the best ones to get in the drips and the little crevices. So if you have those, I recommend you using them. It's just gonna take you a little longer because they're so small. In case you didn't notice, I did do the upper two colors, the little violet and the pink with the cream makeup from Makeup Forever. And then the mandible that you see me drawing right now, I did that with water paint. Um, I honestly, there's really no preferences, I just felt like the water paint stayed a little bit more matte, so if you want to stay more matte, I would recommend that, but for the cream paint you're gonna see in a second, oh right now, 
that I'm gonna set it with the RCMA No Color Powder. Now I'm taking this Hyper Color Hair Powder from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I bought this ages ago. <laughs> Um, and I still have it. I don't think I ever really used it for my hair um, But I'm using this to shade all the drips In my previous tries, I did use the color Sweet Tart from the Tartlet and Bloom palette But I found it made the look a little too opaque So I decided to go with this more vibrant pink for this time around and I think I like it a lot better for the shading, I recommend using a flat round top brush that's kind of fluffy because it's precise enough to place the eyeshadow where it needs to go and fluffy enough to blend it out. I got this dual ended one from Crown Brush at the makeup show, but I'm pretty sure they have it on their website. Right now I'm shading purple under the pink cream, I know, but that's because technically the pink ice cream is melting on top of the purple, so the shadow's gonna look purple because it's gonna be on the purple ice cream. Just mentioning that so that you guys can keep it in mind, because imagine that it wasn't purple and it was blue, um, it wouldn't really make sense if I shaded on top of the blue a pink color, <laughs> you know? I would also definitely recommend using different round top brushes for the shading because if you use a smaller one for everything, it's gonna take you forever. Now I'm taking this light brown from the Mirren palette and we're gonna use that to fill all the empty spaces. And I am again using a flat round tip brush to color everything because it makes it easier to get into the spaces. I chose the color brown to keep the whole look cohesive with the ice cream cone part. And we're also going to make the little lines and it's going to look super cute. Also, I think I'm going to show it later in the video, but um, I do do the same technique with shading on the blue mandible. Um, and I do shade all of the borders of the brown spaces we're filling in now. And like I said before, don't be afraid to erase and redo. I kind of did that drop going sideways, like if the wind was hitting it or something. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, so I just erased it and took it down and made it nicer. Now I'm just sitting it with the no color powder and continuing to fill the empty spaces. Okay, now we're gonna move into highlighting and for that I'm gonna use the white cream paint from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm just gonna highlight every drop on top, not on top, on the opposite side of the shadow as you can see. Well, kind of like on top, I hope you get what I'm saying. Do as I do and not as I say, I guess. <laughs> Okay, now I'm taking the same hyper color from Anastasia and I am lightly using it to give my face some dimension and using a larger brush to contour a little bit. Okay, now moving on to the teeth, we're gonna do the same thing as before and we're going to draw lines to know where we're gonna place our teeth. And for this, I am using the water paint. I just liked it better for some reason but before continuing i'm gonna shade the outer parts and this is to make it look like the teeth are going back i mix light pink and white to make the teeth stand out against the pink a little bit and then i applied it by pressing harder on the bottom and releasing as i go to the top to make the triangular shape Same thing over here, I'm just making them smaller as I go towards the back to have that illusion kind of that it's going towards the back. I did forget about the purple side um, to do a purple so I went back again with a light purple over the pink color to make it purple. <laughs> Now I'm taking the violet color to outline the teeth again because I feel like I lost the outline. So we're gonna give them more contrast and then you're going to see me kind of feather out upwards with what I have left on the brush to give the whole teeth a little bit more contrast and form. 
and you can go a little bit over the teeth it doesn't really matter Now like I said before, I'm going to take the light brown from the Lorac Pro Palette 2 and I'm going to shade the brown parts. And I'm just quickly taking the aqua paint color and doing some drips and contouring my chin and mandible because I completely forgot. Now we're going to take the light brown and mix it with the white and use that color to create the cone the ice cream cone pattern it was kind of hard to match them up because the line would look a little different when I opened my eyes and when I closed it but um, I just kept trying And I did do the same pattern for every single space that we filled with brown, even the nose. I just forgot to do it on the nose until the last minute. <laughs> now I'm going in with a little sample of the Moonlight Drop from Cover Effects that I got in Gem Beauty. And I'm highlighting everything I want to bring forward, some of the drops and the cheekbones. And then I took the Moonchild Highlighting Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And for the pink part, I used the color pink heart and then for the purple and blue I used blue eyes as you can see here I'm using different brushes to adjust to the different sizes of the drops for eyeliner I'm gonna use the NYX gold crystal liner um, it's just gold glitter. It looks super nice and super pretty. Um, I just wanted to add a touch of glam <laughs> Then I did my top lashes off camera because it was a struggle. I am not <laughs> Good at doing those on camera yet, but I'm taking these small individual lashes and placing them very separated in my Lower lash line. I'm placing I think about five for that doll like look now I'm taking the light brown color one last time and I'm carefully drawing around the drips on my neck and taking it down to a cone-like shape. That hair was giving me a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> Now I mix the white with the light brown again and I'm taking this large fine angled brush and drawing the lines for my cone. I'm not gonna lie, I hate looking at this part. It just, oh, it looks so weird. I don't like it. <laughs> okay guys this is it this is the whole makeup look i hope you guys love it if you do recreate it please tag me at beauty by general on instagram or leave me your instagram in the comments so i can go check you guys out i would love to see if any of you recreate this fun look also if you guys haven't seen my last video i did it in collaboration with ipsy it's this really cute moon witch makeup look so if you want to be a cute little witch for halloween you should definitely check that out and yeah subscribe comment like and i'll see you guys on the next one bye Damn.